I would say that uh, two there there are going to be two fundamental shifts, uh, especially uh, the way I handle L and D. I think there has to be a platform based approach, so that you create it for the whole world, uh, and you know people can people should have some right to customize it, but create like a global tech you know technical capabilities like how all of us all of us use Facebook and Google for our needs. Uh, that 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 I think is, is is going to fundamentally shift. The other would be uh, to have some data based approach to find out what are the high skills or his skills which are in future need, because it seems that uh, when you are working remotely, the manager or the top guy really needs to be an expert, uh, an expert in in managing the team and managing the tasks. So I would say that you know keep focusing and keep talking to the business on focusing on the high or the critical skill for managing a virtual you know, feed virtual team. That would be the second thing. Uh, and third is, uh, uh, you know, my own personal, uh, my own personal point of view, which I think that uh, if you don't see somebody face to face, maybe project management becomes very important. And I think the formal for organization structures will be weakened. Uh, but you know, even if in L and D or in even business HR, I can say, okay, do this project and move on to another project, which is what IT company and fintech companies follow. So I think uh, an emphasis on on project management and project based organization would, would be the third point. It's extremely important to understand the significance of informal learning. Mm -hmm. I think we have not, as an industry, done enough. Uh, maybe because there were so many options available and so on. But I think with uh, with this new situation coming in, uh, I still feel it is not very effective to do formal learning for an extended period without coupling it with informal learning. And when I say informal learning, it is experiential learning, it's on the job learning, it's peer coaching, it's all the other things which are extremely critical, relevant. And at the same time, they have to be done with the right intent, with the right focus, with the right outcome. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to tie up, why are you doing it? What is the objective? Who is the person who is the best person who we should be roping in to ensure that those outcomes are getting delivered? It may be, you know, with the, the current team, it may be some person from outside the team who you may be pitching in and getting to get that, uh, you know, outcome driven to, to be driving that outcome. That's one. And second is bite sized learning. Yeah. I think gone are the days, even before pandemic. I mean, uh, I come from an era where it was very normal to do trainings for days together, five days, seven days at a stretch, right? Uh, now with, uh, you know, a virtual learning and platforms and engagement being the uh, way to go, you have to ensure that your, all your solutions, all your engagements are done in a manner where you are able to retain the uh, you know, the, the, the attention of your audience. And that's where you have to use your platforms and your technology to the best that you can. So explore what, what are the options that are available? What are the features that are available? We have excellent platforms and tools available. Many of them do not have a hefty cost attached to it as well. Yeah. But it, it, is, it is probably lack of, uh, you know, time at our end when we are not able to maximize it. But I think this is a golden opportunity for us to use those and do it. And one of the learnings, as I said, when we did a virtual induction was, it was fantastically received. Mm -hmm. We were skeptical because it was a one full day and we were engaging with close to about 50 to 80 to even 100 participants in that whole day. It's, it was about seven, eight sessions that you do. And we were yeah. very skeptical whether we will be able to pull it off. Yeah. Right. So but if you have the right thought that you put into it as to how, so engagement has to be kept in mind very clearly. Yeah. Outcome has to be kept in mind. How do you want to drive it and yeah. get the right people who can make these different levers happen at the right time. So I think if you're able to do that, probably it's not so difficult.